If you are on the lookout for a high quality, very high powered long distance viewing binocular specifically designed for long range hunting and wildlife observation, but also great for uses like plane spotting and observing boats leaving the harbor, then the Vortex Kyber HD 8056 binoculars look to be a very interesting prospect. So, in this video, I'm going to take a very close look at their main features, components, and specifications to see if the 8056 Vortex Kyber of HD binocular makes the grade. So let's get started. Configuration, High Magnification The advantages of a much more powerful magnification include a far greater reach and greater image detail. On the flip side, the disadvantages of using a very high power binocular like this Vortex Skydub includes a reduced field of view, exit pupil and low light performance. By dividing the objective lens size, 56 by the magnification, it inks we get 3.1. This means that the H56 combination generates a shaft of light exit pupil that is 3.1 in diameter. This is relatively small. In normal daylight conditions, it is not at all a problem. However, in low light, when the pupils in your eyes dilate in order to take in more light. Optical stats, field of view, fav. Another downside to a high power is the more zoomed in you are, the narrower your field of view. FOV comes. This effect is clearly demonstrated on these 80 Swartex Kyber of HD binoculars as they have a FOV that is 194 feet at 1,000 yards slash 64 meters at 1,000 meters. This gives us an angular field of view of 3.7 degrees which is quite a lot less than your average tank's binocular that will have a FOV of well over 300 at 1,000 yards and substantially less than your average 8x binocular with a FOV that can be more than 400 wide. Minimum close focus at 19.8 feet. 6 meters the minimum focus distance on the Vortex Kyber is not at all close, but then again these are not designed for close range use, so for me this just something to note, but should not be an issue for anyone using them as intended. Eye cup and eye relief. Vortex Kyber binoculars have multi-position twist up and down eye cups, which combined with 16.4 mm of eye relief is perfectly adequate and should be enough even if you wear glasses. The body, apart from the larger dimensions, the body on the Vortex Kydub HD 8x56 binocular is pretty typical for a modern Roth Prism binocular. They have a large centrally located focus wheel with an internal focus mechanism, a diopter adjuster on the right eyepiece and twist up eye cups. Drag cut adaptable. An important point to note is that because of the high magnification and the resulting difficulty in keeping image shake free, these binoculars are intended to be used with a drag cut or a car window mount that will eliminate this issue. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Keep watching and stay with us subscribing to this channel. Have a great day.